Hey, Brandon. Hey, Kyle. How you doing? Diggity dandy, baby. Diggity, diggity dog dandy. Diggity dog dandy. Okay, time for another toot. Toot. Yeah, because last time we had we had an interrupted toot. Yeah. We promised viewers like we were going to do sort of two things, and because we got so excited, we just did the one thing, so we've got to get back and we've got to do a, a retoot. Oh, man. <laughs> a, a, a toot interrupted yeah. is a toot not lived. Man, it is. It's like a day without sunshine. Okay, so what we did <laughs> over the course of the last two toots, last two toots, is um, we took our inbox from being this big nasty mess. The mosh pit. Okay, let's go back really quickly. Let's do it really fast. Oh man, do we have to see this again? We gotta do it, just we gotta do the it. Mosh pit. Big nasty oh. mess. We're gonna see the mosh pit. It's gonna scare you. Mosh pit! Oh my gosh, where is everything? I don't wow. know where it's at. I'm B so movie confused. actresses are screaming. Everyone's scared. Sharks. Sharknado. Sharknado. That's this, this. That is the Sharknado of all inboxes. <laughs> yes, it is. So we moved to priority. Oh, Bam. thank you for taking us back. Then we saved, saved that. that. Then what we did was last time we talked about creating this star system. Yeah. So we quickly just went back to here settings. And that was in general. It was just in general, and we created a system of mm -hmm. stars. This for me means super important. Take care of it. This is. Still kind of important, but not as priority. This is mm -hmm. took care of. Perfect. That's what Great. it means for you. That's what it means for me. Yeah. It could mean anything for okay. you. Right. Create whatever system you want. Inside of here, it's super easy to cycle through them. Yep. You just click on them. It's another reason for keeping it simple, though, right? Yeah. And as soon as I... Un I just wanted to say this, actually. We didn't say this last time. As soon as I unstar this, it's going to move itself down here. So mm. if we look at that, if we update that, that Naviance moved into, like, the big mess chronologically. Okay. So it was right here. I want to start and put it back because I actually need that. All right. So it and it should be up. said that once you put something into sections, those sections are default organized chronologically. Yep, that is yeah. true. So we talked about dealing with all of the mess. So again, some yeah. of you might have thousands in this other everything else section. You have 94. Which is, again, whatever. I've been taking care of my, I've been doing the whole email. Have you been taking care of business? Been taking care of business every day. <laughs> and, um, find that this does you know you, you miss it for a couple days you get that influx if you're, yeah. if you're an administrator or whatever a why are you listening to this uh you might <laughs> have, maybe you should be maybe you should be listening to this, to this yeah. so you can finally get back to people hint, hint. <laughs> um well that was a thrown shade oh, okay okay yeah. man, stop, stop. if you have a thousands upon thousands in here we can start to clean that up it's going to take some time but you can chip away at it okay and we're going to teach you or give you a method to doing that show us how you do that the quick thing here is you don't have to do this right if you are cool with having 1200 or 5000 emails in this everything else and again it will it'll create pages of this yeah that's okay too we're really just trying to get you to focus on having this priority inbox kind of set up yeah start to Label things as important or unimportant. Start to label things as starred. Yep. Yep. So, but, but again, we're going to create a system for people that like to see kind of the Kyle side of it, which was, <laughs> if you looked at the first video, there's not a lot of stuff in your inbox. No. Get rid of things. Don't right. be a pack rat kind of a thing. Yeah. And, but if I don't want to delete things, this is a system. So you could just straight delete these if you want, but this is a system mm. if you don't like deleting things. Yeah. Because maybe you want to go back in this high stakes world of... Um, I'm a delete location. freak, but but if this were my first pass, I don't think I would delete it. Sure. And I think not deleting emails is a good habit, but you know, it's nice to clean up our inbox. It so sure where is. Where we're going to go okay. is this sidebar. Now, yours might look different than mine. We're going to create what's called a sub-label. Mm -hmm. You might think of it as a folder, Yeah. but again, there's a more subtle detail to this. We're going to create a new label. Oh, okay. And I'm just going to call this, for lack of a better term, old stuff. Mm-hmm. And that's where I'm going to put all this stuff that's old that I haven't sorted yet. I kind of want to reset. I kind of want to start managing my inbox better. And we saw that pop up right on, there. Your, on your left-hand nav bar. Yeah, there it yep. is. So really, all I'm going to do is literally click on stuff and just drag it. Oh, it's that easy? And it goes away. Now, it's still here. It's still in your email. It just was labeled with this thing. Uh, so if you look at it, it's been labeled as old stuff. Now, again, we'll get into the subtleties of labeling later. Yeah. It's not as simple as just it's in this folder. It actually exists in two mm. folders. But that's I have a totally different labeling system. Yep. Okay? So what, what just happened is now we kind of reduced the number of things. Oh, I see that's gone down from 94 else. to 89. So you could, if you wanted to, literally click on a ton of stuff. Let's do more of that. Let's do more than that. Let's move a whole bunch of stuff yeah. over there. I, I, 
we're going crazy. We're going crazy. We're going to organize it crazy. Grab it. Move it. Bam. Okay, so let's get into old stuff now. I want to see what that looks like. Pajama. Okay, so let's just assume that we've done this page after page after page, right? So yeah. let's say we've got now 500 pieces of old stuff sure. in the old stuff. Sure. What's, what's the next step of the strategy? Well, the next step is to then, once you get your inbox nice and clean, mm -hmm. continue sorting these, right? But here's the deal is we don't uh, want to always just sort them into old stuff. Right. Eventually, what we want to do is create a system. Oh, my gosh. This oh. is crazy town. Holy cow. But you can create your own system of organization. of. So these are all just different labels mm -hmm. that I individually move things over. Again, this is a little maybe too much at first. But maybe you have a couple labels over here where you can now start sorting okay. things. Okay. But we got to kind of reset it. Yeah. And start from scratch. And so over time, you would take maybe 10, 15, 20, 25 emails and old stuff, yep. and you would sort them into your existing label framework, or you would say, you know what, I don't need this anymore, and I would delete it. Sure. Honestly, what I did, to be perfectly honest, is I moved all of, when I did this migration, I had like 1,300 emails or yeah. whatever. I, I remembered all of that into old stuff. Mm -hmm. And then I just said, and that is where it exists. I'm not going to touch it anymore. And okay. then I started sorting from there. Yeah. I didn't go yeah, yeah. back and sort all the old stuff because that honestly is a big amount of work. It's a lot, especially for some people that have like 5,000. Honestly, folks, I would suggest just going back to like 2015 emails, delete that stuff. Yeah. Clear all that. You don't really need it. Yeah. You know, it, it, I mean, in the, it's, we're pretty much low and we're pretty low stakes. You know, if it's so important, all right, check it. But we suggest kind of deleting yeah. a lot of that old, old stuff from years ago. Yes. But anything from the current year, maybe last year, especially having to do with students or having to do with I don't know, anything that's important to you, we suggest move all that into an old stuff label. Yep. So again, we just, we create that label by going to, uh, move it right over here. Move old it stuff. on over. But again, we create a label going, create new label. Yeah. It's going to let us make something. Perfect. And we just start moving stuff over. Let's see it one more time. Doop, doop, doop. Jam. And as Man, you see, the easy. number of stuff in here, I've almost got it down to a single page. Right? Which is really good. Yeah, I could just, oh, I'm going to grab all these. I'm just going to move them over into old stuff. Cool. There it is. Man. Well, okay, so you've shown us a strategy about how to deal with, if you're in a situation, and some students are, where you have thousands and thousands of old emails yep. to get them kind of out of your site, but organized yep. in, a, in a very quick way so that you can just focus on your new strategy. And then if you have the time later on to slowly kind of sort things in the old stuff folder, you can go and do that. Yeah. Perfect. I mean, again, we suggest any of these things are going to help implementing them all. Maybe, maybe not. It's kind of up to you as the user. But again, I think the most important thing, if, if all else fails, if you don't sort these into an old stuff folder, leave them there, but create this system of priority inbox. For yes. Sure. But again, this is for people that really would love to see a clear inbox. It's going to take a while, especially if you have like 5,000, yeah. you know, Maybe do 50 here yeah. and there. Just kind yeah, yeah. of slowly start right. doing it. Well, you could set that actually as a yearly personal goal. So by the end of the year, I will have it. A nice organized email. Yeah, right. yeah. and you know, you do that with your appraisal. I'm, I'm working on organization, which yeah. is professionalism for sure. Right. All right. Man, these have been great toots. Uh, I mean, they feel good. They, <laughs> they've been fertile. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, we got to end it there. That, that is too much. I've never talked about fertile toots ever. This has been Brandon. And this has been Kyle. And this has been Tech Talk Toots. Toot, toot. <laughs>